fractions. We're going to find fractions between a couple of fractions today. Let's say we've got these two. Kind of hard to tell what fraction would be between them because 3 7 and 4 7 are sequential. Let's expand the denominator. Make it a bigger number. I'm going to change everything to 14 Now that I have 6 14 and 8 14 we've opened up a little space in between them for 7 14 So it turns out that 1 half was between our two original fractions. If you wanted to find more fractions between these, you'd have to repeat the process and get a bigger denominator. But that's pretty much the way most people do it. I recently discovered another method that's a little unusual. Let me show you. If we have these same two fractions, it turns out that if you add the numerators and add the denominators, you actually do get a fraction that is between them. In fact, I got the same fraction. Now, if you want to try to prove that, that's a pretty fun thing to do. So what you would do is set it up. We have to start with an assumption. Let's assume that there's some fraction a over b that's less than another fraction c over d. In proofs in algebra, we almost always use variables in place of all the numbers so that when we get to the end of our proof, we've proved it for any numbers. So for any fraction a over b that's less than a fraction c over d, what you want to prove is that a plus c over b plus d is between a over b and c over d. The way we say between in algebra is actually like this. A fraction is between two other numbers if a over b is less than a plus c over b plus d, which is less than c over d. That's all I'm going to say for now because I'd love it if you'd go try to prove this yourself any way you can. Now that you know how to find fractions between fractions, go find some.